As I build my coaching business, I want to know how to effectively serve clients and make more money doing it. This podcast will pull back the curtain to reveal exactly how successful coaches are building their empires. Join me as I engage with top coaches from all over the world to discover their secrets. No theatrics and no theory, just real life strategy. My name is William Winterton, and this is Coaching Success Radio. Hey, what's going on? Today we have a nice short episode uh, introducing you to Nena Marie, single mother of three children, life coach. She's been coaching for a number of years. And sometimes it's really good just to connect with people who have a story of overcoming some adversity, overcoming some challenges, as clearly a single mother of three children would have. And she has been working as a life coach quite a while developing her business, continuing to grow, continuing to get clients, share some of her stories, some of where she's been, some of the struggles she's had, dreams for the future. Love these kind of stories. Super fun. This is Nena Marie. So tell me a little bit about life purpose coaching. Uh, how do you define that for yourself? I've been a life purpose career coach for the last 20 years. And because I've helped many people establish businesses and or find jobs, I kind of fell into life purpose coaching because I noticed that many of the students that I work with had some kind of blockage, whether they had some kind of emotional toxin or some kind of childhood influence that was keeping them from obtaining their ultimate goal. Uh, I kind of fell into doing life purpose coaching before I would show them how to find the career of their, you know, their preferred career or help them establish a business or even grow and start their and scale their businesses. So that's where I kind of fell into life purpose coaching is showing people, hey, you know, we can establish our goals, we can get to the end result, but we need to remove all these toxins before we go ahead and get there. So what got you into it? How did you get started in this? Well, you know, it's all divine timing. I, um, was a very young mom. I was a teenage mom. And so at that time I was um, 22. I had three children and I was on welfare and I taught myself how to find work. And by the grace of God, I walked into a vocational college. At that time it was called Bryman college. And um, I started to um, just give my services to a couple of students that were in the lobby and helping them learn how to find work. I'm, I'm praying with them, we're meditating. All the while, the campus president was watching me because he was covering the front desk at that time. And so it came time for me to go up and interview with the career services director. And the campus director was like, I don't even need you to interview. I saw exactly what I was looking for in a candidate and I'd like to hire you. I'm gonna send you downstairs so that you can go ahead and fill out your new hire paperwork. And I've been doing it ever since. What, what were some of the challenges you were facing? Well, challenges being a single mom of three children, you know, having to make ends meet and um, making sure that I had enough income to provide on a monthly basis. There were a lot of challenges transitioning from having a full-time income, consistent income, to having to, you know, um, consistently sell. I've learned how to uh attract my clients so the majority to all of my clients have been word of mouth i've been able to identify my ideal client and because of that i'm able to just work with those types of people because you're, you're you're in a very uh it's a very spiritual life purpose uh kind of a realm how have you found to be one of the best ways for attracting clients I'm always living in the moment. So I'm always acting as if I am my client. So I, you know, not, not so much as acting, but I'm living as my clients would be. I'm practicing good eating. You know, I eat, I eat alkaline lifestyle four days out of the week. So 80% of my time I'm eating alkaline. Um, I'm meditating. I'm, I'm, you know, being the person that I want to attract. And because I'm the person that I want to attract, um, I'm able to, um, develop genuine relationships with, with those people. And, and in essence, they trust me and they know, hey, look, we live the same lifestyle. I want to go a little further and know a little more about you kind of thing. I don't do any selling. I just act myself, you know, I act myself. And these people who are interested in the allied health industry are just attracted to me. They request me as friends or they just approach me. So obviously your kids are growing and, and you're still you know, doing business and taking care. What are some of the additional challenges that you find now that you've been doing this on your own for eight years, uh, coaching for a couple of decades? 
What are some of the new challenges you're seeing? So the new challenges I have now that my babies are out of the house, they're 18 and over now. I'm married now. I'm recently married of one year. And so the congratulations. Thank you so much. If I can be transparent, my husband's not an entrepreneur. He works for the military. So he's on a strict, you know, schedule. And because my line of business isn't normal, you know, those, those are the challenges that I run into. It's just having to stop for a moment, explain to him the processes so that he, you know, understands them and then he becomes supportive of me. But for the most part, I think that's the biggest challenge and hurdle is to make sure that I'm not, um, trying to overstep boundaries, you know, understanding that there is an order in our home, you know, and respecting the fact that he is the head of our household, just as long as I, I keep those things in line and I keep myself in check, everything's good to go. You know, for the most part, our children are out on their own. They live on their own, you know, and I don't know if you know this yet, but adult adults require more money and they, you know, they want more, <laughs> they want more expensive things. So in terms of challenges, I think that's where I am in life right now is adapting to my new position as wife and not overstepping boundaries. And it's a matter of children. Also, like you said, as they get older, I know I have a 14 year old and it's, every year they get more and more expensive. You know, the, yeah. the toys that used to keep them occupied, uh, they want bigger and better stuff like we all do, yeah. right? We all want the yeah, next absolutely. thing. Right? Absolutely. So as far as your, your business and kind of growing and developing, and that's understood. That's another challenge that actually a lot of entrepreneurs have is whenever uh, their partner is not necessarily entrepreneurial minded, you, there's a relationship, there's a, there's a love and a trust there. But it's also, it's very difficult sometimes to see mm -hmm. what you're seeing as an entrepreneur. And it's hard when there's not a consistent, steady paycheck coming in. And some months you have good money and some months are a little bit tighter and, and kind of navigating that. So um, I, think, I think you're speaking to a lot of people in the audience who are, who are listening and going, yeah, I've got that same challenge, uh, male or female, having that challenge of trying to, you know, balance that a little bit. Right. So let me just say, if you could, though. Uh, in a couple of three years, where would you, are you looking to grow and, you know, expand your business now that you have kids are out of the house and you have a little bit more time that way? Uh, is there something you're kind of thinking bigger scale to, to grow into a little bit? So bigger scale, I'm thinking of a practice. My husband's also a licensed massage therapist, which is, oh, cool. which ties into this whole allied health um, movement that we're definitely walking into. So I would definitely want to have a practice within, I want to say within the next year or so, I, I plan to have a practice. I've been working from home for eight years and it'd be nice to have someone come out and visit with me in an office. As ironic as that sounds, right? I wanted to leave corporate America and I'm trying to come back. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, I meet with others in like coffee shops or I meet with them in their homes. It would be nice to, to just grow and have an established practice here in Vegas. Uh, it's been just a pleasure speaking with you and getting to know you. And I'm super excited. I'm thrilled. Uh, again, congratulations on the marriage and uh, super excited for what you got going on in the future here. So right. much. Wow, that was awesome. Thank you so much for tuning in and checking us out. New episodes are coming out every few days, including lots of conversations with massively successful coaches sharing their secrets with you. So be sure to subscribe to our podcast and YouTube channel so that you don't miss out. And if you're looking for a way to start making serious money from your coaching, you need to check out my free training. It's at williamwinterton.com. I lay out the step-by-step -step on how to start making five figures a month in the next 60 days. Check it out, williamwinterton.com. I'll see you next time.